Hi, this is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, five ways to be more productive using craft templates. I have five use cases for using uh, craft templates and I'll review each of them in this video. But before uh, reviewing each of those use cases, um, let's remember that Craft uh, supports uh, templates. Uh, so when you are creating a new document, you can simply start uh, typing in it, or you can use a Craft template uh, in order for you to uh, quick start the process, uh, the, creative, the creative process. Uh, by importing a um, already made content with, uh, within which you'll see a, a basic structure of the document that you want to uh, create and um, um, write uh, in Craft. So uh, Craft support for templates is very good. Um, and um, this uh, video will show you how I'm using uh, craft templates in my creative workflow and what you'll see is that uh, my templates are very uh, different uh, in content depending of the use case. So without further ado, uh, let's see um, my templates. Um, so I'm in uh, craft right now and I make sure that my templates um, uh, uh, tab is uh, item is selected so I can see all the uh, templates that are available to me. Um, the, the first uh, template uh, that I want to review quickly with you, uh, and I happen to uh, have um, presented this template in a previous YouTube video, is the template for uh, planning uh, my upcoming uh, uh, creative uh, week. Um, so if I double click on it, uh, there's a way for me to create a document from this template, but in this case, I'll select edit. Um, I like to select a, a uh, page cover for, for most of my templates because I think it's uh, prettier. And in this template, uh, there's a space there where I'll put all my uh, to do things uh, that I'm planning to do in the upcoming week. And then there is a section with uh, recurring items. So um, I'll, I won't go uh, in more details than that, but each, each uh, Sunday I'm creating a new uh, daily note using this uh, specific template uh, for me to be, uh, it's quicker for me to use uh, this uh, template. So that's uh, use case number one. So use case number two is a much more uh, uh, complex uh, thing to explain. Um, let me go back to craft and in the main view of my templates. Um, the second use case is um, uh, for creating those videos that you are currently uh, watching right now. Um, I'm currently using three templates uh, for um, supporting my um, process of creating and producing those videos. And you see on the screen right now all the three uh, templates that I'm using. Um, they are, uh, the number one is to uh, start creating a new uh, template from, the, um, from this template, which uh, will help me uh, start the process. So if I go in the, uh, double click on that and select edit this template, uh, you'll see that there is a, a few tasks that I need to do in order to be able to uh, start producing a video. Um, the title is always replaced uh, each time I'm creating a new episode. And I'm selecting here the, uh, the number, which I'll replace with the actual episode numbers. And then I'll follow all those tasks that I need to do. That's the template number one. The template number two is the actual uh, episode templates. Uh, template where if I double click on that again is um, more specifically helping me to make sure that uh, this video is produced uh, in the in the in the most standard way. Um, I have to answer a few questions before uh, starting creating a new video and the first one is about maybe 
I'm making sure that this video has a value for the viewers. Uh, so I'll try to answer all those four questions and then I'll, then I'll prepare myself uh, more on the technical side of, of the of the things where I need to get ready uh, myself for uh, actually recording uh, the video, like what I'm doing right now. And then there's the, the script itself where you can uh, see what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to talk about in this video. And then afterwards, once the video is recorded, recorded, um, what I'll do is a series of tasks where I need to uh, uh, use ScreenFlow and different uh, tools uh, in order to edit and uh, export the final video files that I'll, that I'll be importing into YouTube. So each time I'm creating a new uh, video, I'm always following this uh, script for each episode. If I go back to the templates, there is the, the final templates that I'm using, which will be to create the uh, episode uh, notes uh, description that I'll be uh, putting on YouTube in order to uh, present the content of the uh, actual video. And this portion is always uh, using the same structure. And over time, uh, I did use a few ideas from different uh, YouTube creators uh, in order for me to uh, have something that I think it's uh, useful for the viewers. So I'll be using this uh, third template uh, for creating um, the, um, the video. So that's uh, use case number two. Use case number three um, is very simple. Uh, it's uh, for helping me to uh, start a kickstart the creation of a new edition of the uh, Friday Notes uh, series that I'm uh, posting on the website. Um, this template is probably the most uh, simple one. So I'll double, double click on it. Um, the Friday Notes series is a, uh, a post that I'm uh, publishing every Friday um, where I'm uh, talking about a specific subject and I want the uh, post to use the same standard uh, title so Friday notes number um, I'm currently at 80, 81 and then I had the uh, actual uh, quick uh, tag phrase where I'll kind of summarize the subject of my post. Um, in some posts, I do have a what did I learn this week that I'm putting at the end of the actual article. And so in that case, uh, I can go in this uh, document where I'll go back, uh, I'll go down the list and see uh, what did I learn this, this week. And then I'll write something about it at the end of the Friday note uh, post. As you can see within this uh, actual uh, links uh, section at the bottom of the document, it's not part of the template, by the way. It's only accessible because I did uh, follow this uh, link here. So when I click again on this, at the end of this document, I can see all the Friday notes um, um, post where I uh, did actually add something about what did I learn this week. Uh, I can hide this portion and then I go, can go back to the, uh, so that's use case number, number, uh, number uh, three. It's pretty simple. And um, so let's see what's use case number, number four. Use case number four is for is a template that I'm using um, once a month uh, to create a uh, an edition of my monthly uh, newsletter, which is called Numeric Citizen and Prospection Newsletter. It's a newsletter that I'm hosting on. I used to be uh, using um, uh, Substack to host this newsletter, but uh, I decided to move to uh, Ghost um, um, hosting service for uh, pushing a, a monthly newsletter on, the, uh, on this platform. Um, and for the creation process of putting together a new edition, uh, I'm using um, a pretty complex, I, I think it's one of the most complex uh, templates I'm using in Craft. So I'll select this one, double click on it to enter in edit mode. 
So as you can see here, there's a few, uh, a lot of tasks I, that I need to uh, do in order to put together uh, uh, this, this newsletter. Um, and this newsletter is made of different sections where I'll uh, do some highlights of uh, what I did publish during the past month. There's a few uh, articles uh, that I'm putting together uh, in the Apple tidbits uh, section. Then there is the climate change and uh, before that there's the photo section, must see photo stuff that I'm uh, kind of putting together each month, uh, on a monthly basis. So there is a different uh, set of section that are always there each month in each newsletter. And then uh, when those uh, sections are uh, put together, um, and then I'm starting to kind of uh, transfer those into uh, Ulysses, which is a writing application that I'm using um, for uh, pushing the actual newsletter to Ghost. And then uh, I'll need to complete a few other tasks uh, that I'll be uh, doing uh, in order to finish the, the, the publication process. <clears throat> so um, the basic uh, newsletter is made of those sections and then I'm kind of copy and pasting a lot of different things within uh, the, the section in order to uh, create a, a newsletter. So okay, I'll give you an example of uh, the most uh, completed one. So if I go in the uh, newsletters, uh, actually the last one is uh, number, num number 23. 23. If I double click on that, so there's a, always the um, a cover image for each uh, edition. And then all the tasks has been completed. And there's uh, all the things that are uh, making up each section um, within uh, the newsletter itself. So that's not the final um, uh, product. Uh, it's only the basis for me to write in Ulysses, uh, the text editor and that I'm using. Um, so for obvious reason, I cannot uh, publish directly from uh, Craft to Ghost. It's uh, it's supported, but it's not uh, flexible enough for me to, to to do that. So as you can see here, there's a lot of things that goes in each section, and then uh, there's a closing um, uh, comment on each uh, section that are all that is always the same for each edition. So that's use case number uh, four uh, four. It's for creating uh, my uh, monthly uh, newsletter. Use case number five is a template that I'm using to create a new article for publication on one of my uh, um, website. It's uh, this article, a template article. If I double click on it and then I'll edit this template, uh, you can see that, uh, again, I'm using a cover image. And uh, for this template, I decided to use my uh, tips uh, sheet where uh, you can see all my uh, different uh, publishing places. Um, I know there's a lot. Um, this image is actually replaced with an, an, a, a different one for each article, depending on of the context or, or the content of the article itself. Uh, in this article, uh, in this template, um, you'll see that there is a, a different section the first one is more related to uh, a search engine optimization where I'll make sure that I'm working on the, the best title for the article, uh, select the keywords that I'm going to use um, if I'm publishing on WordPress, and the category uh, which uh, I'm using for each um, article, and also where I'm planning to uh, actually uh, publish this article. As you can see, I have a few uh, places where I can uh, decide to uh, publish an ar this article. If I go back, there is a again a section with where you'll find uh, different tasks that needs to be completed in order to uh, publish a an article. Depending on the uh, platform that I'll be using, uh, some tasks will need to be done, uh, but others won't uh, be required. Uh, for example, uh, if I'm publishing on micro blog, blog there's a, 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 the need for uh, choosing uh, uh, tags uh, is, not, uh, is not there because uh, micro blog itself doesn't support tags. Um, again, um, 
the, the this portion of the templates is only for um, putting together the basic structure of a, uh, an article. Uh, each article won't necessarily follow this structure, but it's only a, a starting point for me to, uh, to create an article. And then at the end of it, at the end of this template, uh, if there is a, a set of screenshots or um, photos that I'm planning to include within the article, then they will go there. Again, I'm using uh, uh, a header image because I think it's uh, nicer uh, this way. And then there's also a set of references where um, I'll be uh, maybe uh, include uh, maybe including in the, in the actual uh, final uh, article, but it's not mandatory. Uh, sometimes there will be some references that I'll keep in this section in this uh, page, uh, but I won't actually use them in the article. It's only for research purposes. So uh, that's the uh, use case number number five for using craft template. There's two things that I'd like to see um, improve in craft uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, templates. Um, the first thing is very simple, and uh, it's uh, something that is missing. Uh, I don't know why it's not there. Um, if I go back in craft and I'm kind of looking at my folders on the left portion of my window, um, as you can see, there is a few folders where I'll put uh, my documents together. What I'd like to see is that if I kind of right clicking on this specific folder, uh, there is no way for me to select new documents from template. So that it would be really easy to add a, a, another option in the in the pop up menu to uh, be able to select a document. Uh, from a, an, exi an existing template. That's one thing. The other thing is that when we are creating a new document from a template, um, the new document will inherit all the content of the actual template. But what would be nice is if the template uh, contains a, a picture, uh, if obviously the picture uh, would be always the same uh, from one document to the other, depending on the template I'm using. Uh, what I'd like to see is the, uh, the possibility to right click the uh, image that came with the template and then replace it with something like in the, in the clipboard or from a file. The option is not there. Uh, I have to manually delete the image and then paste another one. Uh, it's something that you can see in uh, word processing applications like uh, Microsoft Word, where you can replace uh, a, a portion of an uh, actually an image and uh, with something from the clipboard, for example. So that's the two things I'd like to see improved in Craft uh, regarding uh, uh, templates. So by the way, uh, you will be able to see all my wish, uh, my wishes for Craft in a, a document that I put together and I, that is available on the web that you can uh, look for yourself. Uh, the link uh, is in the show note uh, underneath this video. So uh, feel free to uh, look at it and maybe even uh, post comment uh, on, on this document. And uh, the other uh, videos that I'm referring to in uh, this uh, episode uh, are also uh, linked in the show notes uh, below this uh, video. Uh, so thank you for watching. I uh, hope you find you found this uh, video uh, useful and you learn a few things. Maybe you have uh, new ideas on how you could uh, put uh, craft templates uh, to use in your own creative workflow. Uh, see you uh, for uh, another episode in the future. Thanks for watching.